two months ago, I traveled to the cheapest city in the world. Hanoi, Vietnam. Out of the tens of thousands of cities on this planet, this place is the cheapest. When I was there, I set myself the challenge of surviving an entire day, eating, sleeping, activities, for only $10. Now, due to how cheap the city was, I did this pretty easily. Anyway, I flew back home, posted the video, and you guys loved it. But what about if I completely flip the switch? You see, I've done $10, but what about $10,000? $10,000 for 24 hours in the world's cheapest city. In Vietnamese dong, which is their currency, this is the equivalent to 243 million dong. Can I spend this much in 24 hours in the cheapest city on the planet? Well, I got a flight back to Vietnam and I'm ready to give it a go. Now, there are two things I'm going to avoid buying in this video. Number one, branded stuff. And number two, no jewellery, like gold, silver, diamonds. Now, the reason for this is the cost of this stuff is universal. So it doesn't matter where in the world you are, it'll be the same price everywhere. With all that out of the way, let the day begin. Okay, I'm hungry, I want some breakfast. Walking around the streets of Hanoi, average price for breakfast here is about $1. That's it. I want something a bit more luxurious. This place was the most expensive breakfast I could find. We got escorted into our own private room. Wow. Very fancy. Bloody hell. And over the course of an hour, we were given seven different luxurious courses. So how, how do we eat this? Like, As you can tell, I'm not used to posh food. That was nice. Wow. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Caviar, gold leaves and then an abundance of meats on a piece of bread. That is the fanciest sandwich I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. I would have rather had a ham sandwich, I'll be honest. Thank you. Whoa, that's cool. In total, for me and my mate Jack, this meal came to $500. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, that Japanese food was nice, and it was a cool experience. But you can't meet a Matthews. I never thought I'd say this, but I need to start spending more money. Let's play some golf. <laughs> Nearly hit the camera there. After golf, I found the most expensive massage in Hanoi. How much is the treatment I'm getting? What is the price? It's the four million three hundred and ten thousand. Perfect. That's expensive. It started with not one but two ladies massaging my entire body. Next, I was covered in mud. Then covered in some white stuff. Followed by a beautiful milk bath. Oh. 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 I've never bathed in milk before, but I am a fan. And to finish it all off, a hair massage. Thank you very much. Thank that was you. very nice. Thank you. Thank you. I'm feeling a little peckish. I've just stumbled across this. I mean, it just looks fancy and posh. So let's see if they have a restaurant. Whoa, this is nice. Thank you very much. What's your most expensive item? The whole, the lobster. I go for the lobster. Yeah, that. one lobster. Thank you. The price of the lobster was $104. Now you can understand why 10K is going to be hard. It's okay. I mean, I'd never order it again, but a lot of protein at least. Obviously today, I want to get a gym session in. I was looking around for expensive gyms in Hanoi, but I'll be honest, I think expensive gyms are always rubbish. So, for my workout, I've come back to the gym I came to when I was on £10. This is the best gym. The entry for the gym was only a dollar. but it was a sick workout. Thank you. Mate, I love that gym so much. 
As the sun set in Hanoi and my budget still looking large, you may be wondering, where am I going to stay? In the last video, I stayed in a place which only costed me $2 for a night. While it wasn't luxurious, it was a great deal. So what can I get for essentially unlimited money here in Hanoi? This is by far the best place I could find in Hanoi on Airbnb. <laughs> Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Look at this. What? Look at that view, bro. What? That, ladies and gentlemen, is the cheapest city in the world right there. Fish tank in it. Macallan? That's, That's quite expensive, good. isn't it? Now, this penthouse was absolutely beautiful. And the price of this luxurious place? It was only $170. Like... What? That's like a Premier Inn. Isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, that's like a Premier Inn in London. Earlier that day, I bought myself a tailor-made suit for $250. Now, this was for a very specific reason. Did a bit of research, spoke to a few locals, and I found the most expensive restaurant in Hanoi. With my suit on and feeling like a million bucks, I headed to the restaurant. We were escorted to our own private room, and for the next two hours, I feasted like I have never feasted before. I tried some oysters. I wasn't a fan, as you can quite evidently see. Caviar and bone marrow was next. And for the main course was Wagyu steak, spaghetti bolognese, fries, mashed potato, a steak for my mate Jack. Just a complete feast. And to wash this whole meal down was a beautiful chocolate cake. Can we get the, uh, the bill? Sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers mate, thank you. So what was the damage for all of this? <laughs> Genuinely, I tried to get as much as I physically could and we got it for both me and Jack and it was £483, which is a lot, but this is the most expensive place. I needed to spend more money. The plan now is getting late in Hanoi. We're going to go to five of the poshest bars and order their most expensive shot. What's your most expensive shot? Most expensive, most, right. the most expensive you have. Thank you very much. The night begins here. Cheers. <laughs> Shot number two. is mental. What's your most expensive shot? Be around $565. Perfect, yeah. Including tips and taxes, this singular shot was $700. What the fuck? Cheers. Ugh, horrible. Literally just tasted as bad as any other shot. I've only spent this much so far today. Oh, it's not looking good. Next, I ended up in a club. I bought a table for the first time in my life, which was so expensive. And drinks after drinks were bought. Some scram. They look good. Hello. Hello. Uh, is that okay? Everything. Yeah. How much? How much? I think the drunkness in me did this, but I ended up buying the entire food stall, and the lady only wanted to charge me sixty-one dollars. And you take that for you as well. For you. For you. Okay. Yeah, hold on. I also had a spare water cash, so tipped a little more. 100,000 for you. That's a tip. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. 